Mmm. Spicy little intro. Hello, everybody. My name is Matt, and welcome back to Bulber Gaming. And welcome to The Wolf Among Us. This is a game suggested my, by Jeremy Pickering. You know, a few weeks ago, when I was uh, getting done with the uh, Destroy All Humans playthrough, which I, I'm aware I do still need to play those. I'll probably have those up by, like, the end of the week or mid-next week, just depending on when I get around to them. But, The Wolf Among Us. I have no clue what this game is is or is about i think it's like a comic style game i know these are the same people i don't know if i just said this it's made from telltale games they're the same people that made uh the walking dead game series and apparently they made a batman like telltale series uh which is pretty cool uh but before we jump into this i wanted to say first of all uh rest in peace to chadwick boseman we lost him recently another great person that left way too soon that's trying to make you know a positive impact on the world very tragic uh sending all the love to him and his family second of all uh, if you see me sitting a little weird it's because this past weekend i got my armpit tattooed and it's still very sore so like it's awkward to move it around too much and i'm trying to keep it open so it doesn't like i mean it's an armpit you know so if it's all the way down it's like folding in on itself and you know, it just feels weird. So if you see me sitting weird, that's why. But all that stuff aside, let's start playing Wolf Among Us. Um, This came out in 2013, so it's a bit of an older game. But um, when I was looking it up, I actually saw that it's like... Okay. Uh, I didn't realize that The Walking Dead, I think it said that, the, that those game series... Uh, or those series of games were like started in 2012 which surprised me it makes me feel old um let's make sure we have okay boy uh let's make sure we have subtitles on make things a little bit easier to understand yeah we need those all right let's get into it gamers shall we once again before we get started thank you so much jeremy for suggesting this game uh, let's go. I've been waiting around too long, yeah. Okay, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Oh, okay. I love a choice-based game. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago, and they were exiled from their after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic of a magic spell called the Glamour. They have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Okay. Am I a sheriff and a wolf? That's pretty tight. More interesting. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Being a sheriff and a werewolf is a much more interesting concept than I've seen from a lot of video games. So, props for the original uh, concept. I don't know if the, if Telltale came up with this on their own or if they adapted an actual comic series or another source of media from or, or to a video game. But I also looked up like how long this game is. I got somewhere between like 12 and 14 hours which is pretty surprising uh or at least that's just longer than i thought it would be so i'm not really sure what increments i'll be playing this in uh i might even have to up my weekly uploads just because if it is jeez oh, even if or if it is like let's say a 12 hour game I, if I did one a week, it'd be 24 weeks, which is a really long time to stretch out playing a game. If if I did them in half hour increments, that is. Mr. Toad. <laughs> Shit. Big B. Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem. I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Um. No need to kick up a fuss. Oh, I got a time limit. Okay. I mean, no harm no done. Harm this done. Time. I'll give you a pass, but listen. 
If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Holy shit. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You're getting euthanized, boy. You know what I mean. You better put Go your fucking makeup on. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Uh, I mean, I don't make I the don't rules. make the rules. Sorry. Damn, that's rough. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. I don't think don't any of those options was it. Catching you out of glamour again. Like the options that it gave me in this past one. Were... Fuck you now. See, this is what I told you about, Sheriff. I think You're the one I picked was the least there. aggressive. Is that, that's something, what I mean. Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Head upstairs. Jeez, that was a fast we timer. Probably go handle this. Yes, People throwing TVs please. out windows. Thank yeah. You. We need to have a talk, bro. New book of fables entry unlocks. You've got a long job, face. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? Oh my God. You want the big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. I think I picked the least aggressive option. I was trying to just be like, hey, you know, all of them said something like, not my problem. I don't make the rules and like tough shit, basically. Get it done. Yeah, I don't know. know who I fucking am, you hear me? Oh, okay. Look at me. Uh. How do I. Let go. Look at the matchbook on the floor and use the hand icon to pick it up. All right. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get Things pick out can be useful ah! later. Um, might as well see what's going on here. I would like hang up the phone, but seems like a quite pressing matter. Damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? I'll fucking kill you! Alright, everyone needs to all chill right. for a second. Jesus Christ. Oh, that didn't work at all. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get I mean. The fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. I'm gonna warn you one last time, bro. You need to Woody, chill. This is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. This is this time, bitch. Oh, God. QTEs. I was about to get some coffee, too. What am I supposed to... Oh, shit. All right. Wrong analog stick. All right, you great fucking bald prick. Um, there we go. This is hard to see. Back off, asshole. Oh God. Uh, there we go. All right, now I'm getting a little bit, a little bit more used to it. Fucking eight ball head ass. Over there. Stick to the wood for now. Give me that, please. Thank you. Ouch. That ass. You have a few dent in your heads? In your heads, plural? Something like that. I'm trying to not fuck this up. Oh, we need both of them, huh? And hit them with the left and then the right. Cool. Oh, he meant the literal axe. Okay, fair enough. Jesus Christ, you just got this shit on tap, mate. Can't switch it up on me like that, bro. Oh, am I gonna take his head off? Oh, he's still alive. Okay. 
you should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey. Be nice, young lad. If you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Half your fucking face missing. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. Uh, so what, what you is your here? business here, ma'am? These lips are sealed. Bitch, did you not just see what I did to 8-Ball over there? Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. Sure, I'm being More vague, ma'am. came from, girly. Knock it off! Wow, his nose is very three-dimensional. Okay, so was why he was he trying you? to fucking pancake your ass? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. All right, brother, hey, I need to chill. What did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Alright, spine broken, me dead. Oh, I'm fine, cool. I guess I got, uh, good healing abilities. Hopefully. Or well, now I'm paralyzed for the rest of the game. Ah, oh, shit. You could have just put him outside the door. Oh, shit, Mr. Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Sorry, buddy. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, I am sorry. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. Well, that's not true, you. but... And you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Sorry. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh god. Please, big boy, Jesus. We're gonna have to do this shit again. Oh, this is a long one. Ow! God damn, boy. Yeah. I know you want the fucking pooch. You don't want it. I'm tapping as hard as my little fingers can. Uh, I'm using all the tapping skills that I got. Oh, all right then. Uh, thanks, ma'am. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, he's still kicking. All right, maybe not. Uh, I appreciate it, but what, what are, are you, you doing? doing? I mean, you did just you literally axe murder somebody. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Which I would have noticed. I was just trying to watch the fucking A button. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Uh, all right, let's chill. Enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. Nice boy band. Jesus fucking Christ. Is this just what happens on the streets in this part of town? That looks like Tom Cruise on that fucking thing back there. Shit. Just come on. 
I thought she was about to walk smack into that wall. That would have been a really great thing. Okay, hold on. Uh, here's the matchbook, ma'am, that I picked up on the floor earlier. That Thanks. might have some questionable, like, liquids and dirt and muck on it, but, you know. So does the cigarette, I guess. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Woman, can't you tell I'm here to help? Hey, you like my ribbon? It's all right. Um. Beautiful. Beautiful. He said it a little creepier Thank than you. I imagined. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Alright, well, guess he's fine. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure about that? Sure. Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. Ha! <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Sorry. I don't believe you. Which was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Eh. There you go. Let's see, I've got. Uh, I'll pitch in. It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? I you did got choose me to get the money. a bad situation back there. Thanks. No problem. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Um, you live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Well, that's probably not good know. information to have you out in public. Up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Hmm. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? Is it your name? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, thank you. That probably hurt really bad with that cut on my face. But you know, I'll it's okay. You around, Wolf. I feel bad for that toad, man. Oh. Welcome to Fable Town, boys. Okay, chapter one, episode one. So it is in segments. That's really good. That means I can just do stuff nice and segmented. I don't know if anything of importance is going to happen in this cutscene. It's a very pretty game, though. Like, for being made in 2013, I mean, the, the art style kind of transcends that, that graphical barrier. 
between like games that are made in 2013 and now like the art style still works and it looks very it looks pretty sleek and modern all right so i'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here thank you all so very much for tuning in and thank you jeremy pickering for suggesting this i was a little skeptical when i looked it up and it was uh what is it like seven years old now um i which is you know one of the things why i thought the game was going to be short i just but now playing it it's actually really interesting and seeing that it's a choice based game and that there's an element of self exploration like i get to control when i move around in the environment and these deep interactive uh, cutscenes with dialogue and with actions uh that mix i think is going to be a lot of fun and i'm actually really excited to play this so thank you very much for the suggestion uh going forward we'll just keep on with halos on friday and this on tuesday like i said i will keep you all updated uh, if i decide to do uh you know more uh, i might switch to a tuesday thursday friday thing just so we can get more of this content out so we're not waiting this huge amount of time like i said if i split it up i mean i don't even know how many episodes there are at this point but i will keep you all informed or um if you know how many episodes there are like how many of these individual chapters or missions or whatever it is they're called drop a comment down below and let me know that way i can gauge you know what my schedule needs to be going forward so thank you again jeremy pickering and thank all everyone else for tuning in i really appreciate it. it means the world to me if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe ring the little ding dong bell and if you want to keep up with me and bold brew gaming outside of youtube be sure to follow bold brew gaming on all of the social media that is instagram facebook and twitter thank you all so much and i will see you all on friday bye bye <laughs>